We're here today at our bakery in Arista um, in Dunstable. Um, it's a brand new facility producing 70,000 Big Mac buns today. It's fantastic. And we can see those Big Mac buns uh, whizzing behind you there. You're not worried that you're making people fat? No, not at all. I think for me, it really comes back to making sure the quality of the ingredients, like you're seeing today, those fresh buns that are running around behind us, making sure that they're as good as they can be, giving people information and giving them the choice is really critical to me. Is there enough space for more McDonald's? Because it feels like everywhere you go, you see a McDonald's. Is there, is there a saturation point, do you think? I mean, for us, there's a point that we, we think that we've reached the right optimum level of McDonald's in the UK. We're not there yet. So you think there is a saturation point and an optimum level. How many stores is that, do you think? Well, at the moment, we're a long way off that. Um, we, we haven't got a definitive number, but uh, at this point in time, we still look to open 25 to 30 a year for the foreseeable future. We think that's the right pace, working with our franchisees in the communities up and down the country where they enjoy uh, being part of those local communities, and 25 to 30 is about the right level for us at the moment. As you grow, you're going to employ more people. And one of the things that you often hear people say is, you know, if you don't work hard at school, you'll end up in working as a burger flipper in McDonald's. I've been, been on record to say I, I think that's really disrespectful to the great jobs that we offer at McDonald's. Jobs at McDonald's are good jobs and we, we employ uh, good people. We employ them based on their attitude and their skills and we train them really well and take them through. Do you pay them well? Yeah, we pay them um, above the minimum wage and we think we pay a fair wage for, what, for, for the role that they do. And obviously part of um, life at McDonald's is also the training and the benefits they get. In the last budget we talked about the, the national living wage. It's going to be a big burden for a business like this because you employ what, over 80,000 people in the UK. Yeah, it is, and that's, the, that's something we're working through. It's not just the immediate moving uh, the rate to £7.20. It's understanding the knock-on effects and how we then manage that over the next three or four years, and we're working through that. Contracts is another area mm -hmm. where McDonald's has faced criticism in the past around zero-hours contracts. Do you still use them? Yeah, we still have zero-hours contracts, and they're, they're very flexible contracts. So people at McDonald's get their shifts two weeks in advance. We allow our employees to go and work elsewhere. And we have a very good um, system of feedback from our employees. And having surveyed our employees, they still love the flexibility. Obviously, McDonald's, massive name. It's up there with the likes of uh, all the big brands we hear about, Google, Starbucks. And inevitably, mean, that means they face a certain amount of scrutiny. Do you think that McDonald's pays a fair amount of tax? I know that we pay a fair rate of tax here in the UK. Uh, we pay within a percent of the UK corporation tax every year uh, since I've been in the business. EU authorities are looking into whether, you know, they're, they're kind of building a to see whether there needs to be an investigation. How confident are you that you're going to come out clean in this, as it were? Uh, for us in the UK, I'm very confident we're going to come out clean. Uh, as I said, we've paid within a percent of the UK corporation tax for, for a number of years, so now I'm very confident about the UK business. How often do you eat McDonald's? I eat McDonald's two or three times a week. My pet hate, gherkins. Yep. Why are they in burgers? Well, actually, our customers love gherkins. So they really? They I've never met so. anyone who loves a gherkin. Well, well, there, there are people that love gherkins, and uh, for us, it's part of the build of the Big Mac. The great news for you is that basically, with the, the investments we're making in the kitchen, when you go into our restaurants in the future, you'll be able to add your own little twist. If you want to add a bit more mustard or a bit more ketchup into your, to your burger, you can do. So that going forward, you'll be able to take the gherkin out every time you come in.